Five shots. Six coronas, I got the hookah going. Feeling like a stoner. They ain't on my level, yo. They ain't on my level. They ain't on my level, yo. They ain't on my level. Five shots. Five shots. Six coronas, I got the hookah going. Feeling like a stoner. They ain't on my level, yo. They ain't on my level. They ain't on my level, yo. Turn up with the ball and get turned down. Live in G-Rex studio. Today we're sitting down with Bo Bang, artist from Waterboard Promotions. Uh, for the people who don't know, uh, where you from? From Coltsville? Coltsville, Coltsville, Pennsylvania. All your life, born and raised. Born and raised. I mean, I've been my friends everywhere else, but man, I'm home. Yeah, now, just tell me uh, a little story behind the name, Bo Bang. Where'd you come up with that? Bo Bang, well, I started off with Blitz, you know what I mean? That's where I mean, it's not where I came from. Blitz, and that came from uh, school. You know, uh, I think it was history class. I don't know if you know anything about Hitler and all that. I think it was called the Blitz. You know what I mean? But it was a long time ago. I started off with Blitz. Later, I had it on the bank. I guess I felt like it was a. Uh, when I was going by Blitz Bang. You know what I mean? I was more so. I think I had aggression. You know what I mean? That I was trying to release. And I didn't know how to release it at the time. I don't ask me why. I was young. But <laughs> so later, after I did a. Uh, uh, incarcerations, then, uh, then I went by ball back. And, um, I think that was that was more so. You know, I mean, ball. You know, I, I related kind of related myself to like a bull being determined. You know, what I mean, not stopping, aggressive. You know, so that's where ball bang came from. You know, what I mean, so ball bang could also be like a wild bull. <laughs> you know, what I mean, so that's bang. How long have you been an artist? Been an artist, like how long have you been doing music? Probably like that. You know what I mean? I would like to be with these new, new age rappers. I would like to say 10 years, but you know, I've been doing it for like 15, 20. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been making music for a minute. Okay, okay. So, uh, so what are some of the artists that have you? We're talking about 15, 20 years. I mean, you've had to, you know, uh, mainly uh, Pac, Big, Nas. You know what I mean? Back then, you know, X, J. I mean, I still I listen to all types of music, but those are the main rappers that you know, yeah, that I grew up listening to. What about the people like now today? Anybody that influenced you the same way, get the same kind of feeling? Um, um, I don't really listen to the, the artists anymore. I listen to the music, like the beat, the melody. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I can listen to pretty much anybody now because <laughs> it is what it is. But <laughs> I get used to saying, you know what I mean? Hey, as long as if it's turned up music, you know what I mean? I'll I play it. Yeah, so, like, what's your creative process? Like, what do you, when you want to make a song, put, put something together, uh, um, how do you go about it? I mean, like, uh, let's say, it depends. Uh, if it's a project that I'm working on, like, I like the, uh, like, I mean, a serious project. I pretty much like to lock myself in the room, tune in, you know what I mean? Tune in, headphones, new beat, and man, and go to work, you know what I mean? Okay. At least give myself, like, um, an hour a day, you know, lock myself in the room and just, it's just us. It's me and the music, it's just us. Okay, so until when you make your music, you know, you go through that creative process, what's the kind of feeling that you want out of your listeners? What do you want them to, like after listening to your song or your music, uh, what do you want them to walk away with? More so, I make, I make my music go, I mean, for people that can relate. So, I mean, you know, we go through a lot of stuff as people, so it depends on what I'm going through at the time. But hopefully, like a lot of, a lot of my songs I know, like, and like later, people that might have passed or whatever, whatever situation they went through, you know what I mean? I'd be like, damn, I wish they would have got more from that song. I mean, maybe they would have been able to deal with that situation. So, I mean, it depends on the situation if it's, and what, what I'm going through at the time. So, but like lately I've been making a lot of like, turn up music. So, you know what I mean? I guess that's just the state that I've been in. So, uh, what I want people to get from that is go have a good time, you know what I mean? What's your thoughts on the state of hip hop as far as like the records being released, considered popular, and where do you feel you fit in? Um, 
I mean, I like hip hop period, whether it's old or no. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't knock none of it. But uh, where do I feel I fit in? Uh, at the top. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good place to be. Yeah. So let's get more into like the recent project you've been working on, uh, the Meltdown. Um, what's the motivation behind that mixtape? Meltdown. I mean, the name basically speaks for itself. I just, I was like, I mean, the album, I mean, it's so, to me, it's wild. So, you know what I mean? So, my next one probably be way different. So, I could tell, like, I can go back and listen to him, like, I know I was going through something. You know what I mean? The whole album basically turning up. You know what I mean? Who turns up that much? Like, like so, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, that's the meltdown, like, it's, I must have, I mean, that's times where I've been out. That's how I be. Like, I wake up the next day, like, what was I doing? Like, I'm a mad man out here, like, I'm tripping. So, I mean, that's where the that album, I mean, the mixtape basically came from. You know, I mean, the name. So, of all of the songs basically on that album or that mixtape, uh, which one resonates with you the most? Like, which one do you like, feel you most pr pride in, I guess I would say? The song, um, um, I would say Five Shots, because um, I probably one of the last ones I wrote. I mean, I can't really say if there is just one, you know, but I mean, I have, I could say I have fun with a lot of them. I mean, the one I was experimenting with on there is Own Wayne, so that was kind of different. That was definitely the most different on there. But, um, I mean, I pretty much like, I like all the tracks on there. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we made up the mixtape, so yeah, I could understand that. Um, so basically, where can people find out? Uh, right now, it's on, uh, I mean, it's on that fifth, you know, on the Meltdown Bullpen. Uh, you get it there, uh, and that, it'll be in the street soon. I mean, you can always hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, you know what I mean? Try to get a copy to you, or you know, for the board promotion, how it works. Definitely get a copy of you. Yeah. Do you have any projects in the work? Like, do you have anything that you plan on working on? Um, oh, uh, that's in the works already. Other than other than hitting the road and going on tour, you know what I mean? You know, uh, I ain't really. As far as my next project, I'm, you know, I was focused on this one, but I'm sure I got something coming. But this is gonna be a while, probably like that, man. six months at least before I go in. Back but it's gonna be way different than this, way different. I can't even tell y'all what y'all gonna get. I just know it's gonna be different. You know what I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna go through next. Life is crazy. You know what I mean? So, it's gonna be something nice. Huh? Yeah, that's good, man. Well, it's G Green, Bull Bang. Thanks, man, for coming through. G Rex Studios. Uh, you got it here.